President Schill, the ADL released its report card for universities' responses to anti-Semitism, and you're aware that Northwestern was the only university whose grade was downgraded, correct? Yes, I am aware of that. And isn't it also true that the Northwestern earned an F for your failure to respond and combat anti-Semitism, and they called for your resignation, is that correct? I have great respect for the ADL. Not, I'm not asking your respect for the ADL, I'm asking is it a fact that you earned an F and they called for your resignation? I have great respect for the ADL, I am sad that they uh, gave Northwestern but an F. But it's true, you got an F, yes. Moving on, let me tell you why you earned an F. I want to discuss what has been referred to as the Deering Meadows Agreement, your unilateral capitulation to the pro-Hamas anti-Israel, anti-Semitic encampment. But let's talk about what has occurred on this encampment. Isn't it true that Jewish Northwest, a Jewish Northwestern student was assaulted? So I want to question the premise of your question. No, 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 no. I'm asking the questions. You're answering. Wasn't and my it answer true? Is no, no, no. It is I'm, not a capitulation. I'm, I'm asking the question. You're required to answer. Isn't it true that a Jewish Northwestern student was assaulted? There are allegations that a Jewish student was assaulted. We are investigating those allegations. Isn't it true that a Jewish student was verbally harassed and stalked to Hillel? There are allegations of that sort, and we are investigating them. Isn't it true that a Jewish student wearing a yarmulke was spat on? All of these are allegations that are being investigated. How long are these investigations going to occur? Well, if you remember, the encampment was up just a few weeks ago. So we believe at Northwestern in due process. We believe in investigations. We believe. So when are the investigations going to be finalized? I've, I'm not going to be able to tell you that. They'll be finalized when the conduct office and the Title VI office which are well on this issue. This is why you've earned an F. Isn't it true that a Jewish student was told to, quote, go back to Germany and get gassed, end quote? I've, I've heard that alleged. Again, it is being investigated. We will investigate any claim of discrimination the, but or zero, harassment. But it is a fact. You said that there have been zero suspensions, zero expulsions. Thus at far with lots of investigations on their way. You said something that was very important. You said, we did not give in to demands, but the commitments we made as part of the Deering Meadows Agreement, you said the word commitments. Let me talk about those commitments. One of those commitments was funding two visiting Palestinian faculty for two years. Is that true? This is part of a program that we have had. We have used it with Afghanistan, Ukraine. It's for war. But isn't it true? I'm asking countries. you. Okay. The other one is you will fund the full cost for five Palestinian undergrads. That is also part of the program sponsored by our Buffett Institute. It is not a new program. It exists for people but it was whose education as and it research. It was has announced been as part of the Deering Meadows Agreement. Is that correct? It was. Part of the, it was a goal set our fourth in the Deering Meadow Agreement. It will also include and who people was in, who from was Israel. Consulted, who was consulted when you embarked on the Deering Meadows Agreement? Was the President's Advisory Committee on Preventing Anti-Semitism and Hate consulted? That was not within the purview of the anti-Semitism so and they were not other consultant. forms of hate committee. Was Northwestern's Board of Trustees consulted? The chair of our board was consulted. But not the entire board of trustees. Our board of trustees has over 120 members. And isn't it a fact that members of the board of trustees express dissatisfaction with your failure to consult them? There's been some members of our board of trustees who have expressed dissatisfaction that they were not part of the decision making. Did you, was it a, did you consult with the general counsel of Northwestern or an outside counsel on the Deering Meadows Agreement before it was agreed to? Yes. Are you aware that board members asked you this question and you said that you had not, not consulted? Not the outside counsel. The general counsel of the university was part of my team managing this problem. Did you consult with two members of the advisory committee that I referenced previously, uh, the anti-Israel professor Jessica Winnegar and the Kellogg professor Noor Katili? Were they consulted on the Deering Meadows Agreement? I consulted with several members, including them, but also including the Hillel director 
and also including uh, the Let's chair Let's talk about the, the Hillel community. director consultation. Isn't it true that you asked the Hillel director whether it was possible to hire an anti-Zionist Hillel, head of Hillel, rabbi? I did not. I absolutely did not. I would never hire anyone based upon their views of being Zionist or anti-Zionist. That is not what I do. That's not what That's a great not according to the whistleblowers does. that have come forward to this committee. Mr. I can't Tonic, say who has talked has to you expired. or not talked to you, but I can tell you I can assure you many truth. people have spoke to this committee. Thank you.